What up, it's Mark. You know, as I didn't say, buddy, I'm, I've had going back and forth if, if I should do this video or not. Anyway, I've decided to do it. Um, when I first started YouTube, I'm talking about the very, very beginning. Everyone was calling me Stan, um, which I understand. I was covering Eminem music to get murdered by. I was covering Lord Jamar's Big Malt. I fucking hate him. I probably sounded like a Stan. But since then, I've covered so many other rappers. And I've said numerous times, Enem is my favorite rapper, but he has songs I don't like. And so one of the people calling me a Stan said, Yo, check out K Rhino, fuck Eminem. Eminem did not want to mess with this dude. And I checked it out. The song is trash. <laughs> I'm sorry. It it's not a good it's not a good diss track. It's not a good song. And this is not against K Rhino. Um but but props to him because you got some loyal ass fans because y'all have been hitting me up in the comments at least once a month i did that reaction seven months ago and y'all are still bitching about it <laughs> um and in the song it's this I, I don't know exactly how old the song is every video says different but it's at least 10 years old at the least i think it's older than that get over it <laughs> this song did not destroy Eminem, obviously, even right now, today. I just saw yesterday, Music to Get Murdered By is back number one. Right now, today. What is K-Rhino doing? Come on. You guys, you guys, the comments are just crazy saying that this, that K-Rhino destroyed Eminem. How do you destroy him? How? <laughs> Eminem didn't go nowhere. And what is K-Rhino, has he done anything recently? And then one person said, um, when Eminem drops seven albums in a day, then we can talk about who's better. So if I work all day and I put out 30 YouTube videos today, if I work 24 hours, I just picked a random number. But without all of a sudden make me the best YouTuber, you know, um, quantity over quality. <laughs> and then Eminem actually has more quantity because he's been, he probably was, he's been rap, he, Rap, they started rapping before K Rhino and kept rapping after K Rhino. So he's just got them beat all around. And this diss track is trash. We're going to listen to it again. This is going to hurt my ears. <laughs> I'm sorry. But um, maybe this, <laughs> this, this video is going to get so many dislikes. I was too nice last time. I was clowning them. Now I'm going to be mean. <laughs> Look at this picture. Hold on, hold on. Look at this picture. He looks like he's in a club with maybe 15 people in it. <laughs> Eminem hasn't done something like that since he was probably wrote that song. Um, all right, we'll, we'll get to this, the song or he's dissing Eminem for a minute. This is the dude Eminem's scared of. K Rhino. It's the best line of the song. You, you ain't no Eminem bitch, you no know, chocolate about you, because he's not black. We get it. Your first line into it, though, you made it about race. And it did not get less about race about that. If he did a lyrical song, like, when I first listened to it, I gave it equal chance. I wasn't like, oh, Eminem just fuck, obviously he's going to be trash. I wanted to see what he had to say about him. Could, you know, because what can, what can you say about Eminem that he hasn't told us already? Like, he's told us all the dirt on him himself. He he's made himself impossible to this. Just like Eight Mile. That's fine. <laughs> yep. Shady means sorry asshole dick yanker. And use a quick thinker. So that in the first video. Yo, that, you're trash. This is trash. This hurts my ears to listen to. Uh, it sucks I gotta listen to it again. Um, and I, actually I listened to it. Um, I listened to a couple of the other reactors review on it. Only like the Eminem haters. They're like, oh, he's really getting at him. How is he getting on him? Benzino, when Benzino first pulled out that, found that Foolish Pride song, that was, a long time ago now. It was like 2005. 
That was 15 years ago. And back then the song was 15 years old. So it's a 30 year old song or something like that. Eight million is 15. And that's all you got on was this one song. And yeah, he was wrong for making that song, definitely. But he was 15 when he made it. And listen to this dude, I guarantee you, he's a little racist against white people. I can just tell by listening to him. <laughs> Look at your skin. We, we let your ass in. So basically he's saying the same shit, Lord Jamar, Nick Cannon, that white people are guests in hip hop. They, they, they let him in. Cause he's white, he doesn't belong. So Eminem, he made that song in 15. He's apologized for it. What about you? You're being racist. And have you apologized for it? You just said, look at his skin. I didn't even realize that bar the first time. I'm not gonna call it a bar. What does that even mean? You're undercover like a motherfucker sleeping in bed. What does that mean? I, I sleep with the covers on my bed and if I'm hot and I take them off, I'm, I'm undercover. Now I'm undercover cop, like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> Baby's getting song. Yeah. He didn't even really diss Will Smith. He said, Will Smith doesn't have to custom his records, but I do, so fuck him and fuck you too. And fuck you too, Rhino. Um, get over it. All you in the comments, if, like, it's pathetic. Saying um, that uh, the song is at least 10, 12, maybe 15 years old. And saying, oh, the song destroyed Eminem. It did not. Eminem went on and did great. The song didn't even touch Eminem. And if, so the people that talk about a fight that happened 15 years ago and still saying, yo, this dude won the fight. If you're still talking about it and saying this dude won, he probably didn't. Because the, the, the winners aren't talking about it 15 years later. Great line. Oh, this car is horrible too. Long read. Long I don't mean to um, bash on Rhino either. It's his fans that just won't let it go. That, that was good right there. I'm not gonna lie. What a race shit. Uh, someone wrote in the comments that um, this and Nick Cannon's third diss track were the best um, diss tracks against Eminem. Anything Nick Cannon did was trash. You know that. Um, and they both have to do with the same. They're both talking about Eminem and the Foolish Pride song. Now, hold on. Ooh. I do probably agree with that, but Bach didn't like anybody. Let's be honest. He didn't like Jay Z. He didn't like Mob Deep. He didn't like Nas. At the end, he was beefing with Dre, so automatically he wouldn't like Eminem because Eminem signed to Dre. But Tupac didn't like many people. Um, so no, he probably wouldn't like Eminem. But how did he jock Bach? Um, Eminem's first album sounds nothing like a Tupac album. Um, like, he used the Hit Him Up beat with his beef of Everlast, but he did not, if anything, Ja Rule is someone that stole Pac's style. There's so many other rappers that stole Pac's style. Eminem is not one of them. That is just so stupid. I've been, he said he's been basically the leader of the underground shit. Why, why Eminem was at home getting fucked with his wife with a strap on. Like, that's just 
ridiculous. Just fucking stupid. Uh, actually, while well, you've been king of the underground, Eminem's been the king of fucking hip hop. He's in everybody's top five now. He's 47, 48 and still rapping. I have no idea what you're up to now. Your rap career is probably way over. Um, let me, I'm sure you're gonna let me know in the comments. What's, what has he done recently? <laughs> uh, you know, you know what Eminem's done recently? He just, la only last week, he was on Big Sean, Friday Night Cypher. He had the last two minutes and 30 seconds. He was, killed it. They did that song of Kid Curry, killed that. That's just this month. Andy, like I said at the beginning, his album is number one right now, today. <laughs> this is a song that supposedly killed Eminem. But somehow, he's alive enough to have number one album and many other successes. Why would Eminem even reply to the song? He already apologized for the Foolish Pride song when Zeno did that punk ass shit and put it in his magazine. He had to go digging, find a song that he made at 15. Anyway, Eminem was wrong for making that song though. So, no, um,. No, nothing. There's no, there's no discussing that. He was wrong for making that song, but he was 15. Uh, people say and do stupid shit at 15. I know I did. I'm happy the shit wasn't recorded. Um, anyway, but ah, uh, so I doing this is probably gonna have the opposite effect of what I want. <laughs> I've been getting killed in the comments for a long time. Every month it's like someone else is commenting about how I'm a stan and the song killed Eminem. This is the best diss track against Eminem there was. And y'all are crazy. <laughs> so um, I'm, I'm asking you not to comment, but I doubt that's gonna happen. But I'll, I'll trash this song again if you keep commenting. <laughs> All right, peace.